Okay, I've kind of looked at this and I, I'm going to have a, rain, a, a thin rainbow and it's going to be a little tricky around there because um, I need to do opposite of what I did over here to make it work. That's how the other one that I did painted was created. But I think what I'm going to do is do a pinkish purple right here on this side. Mainly because I want it to fade in the background. Okay, I actually started painting in the small rainbow here. And I have to be really careful because the yellow has to hit and the pink and, and green, they have to hit in opposite areas. So I've started with yellow here because I have yellow on both sides. And on this side, I'm going to go green to blue and then pink and then to yellow again. It's going to have to be... Uh, little bit of a quicker transition there but just as so it doesn't hit exactly as it did before it'll be fine so we go there to blue just a touch of blue on this end and then I'll transition to purple And then to pink. And then I'll go to orange. After I get this pink in. Back to yellow. And it'll look really nice when I have the Sharpie markers accenting the colors over the top. Doesn't make sense yet, but it will. Okay, I'm going to flip this. So on this end, I'm going to go with the orange now. Because see, I want it to be opposite of what's there, which is the blue tones.
and then I'll go to pink which if I'm careful it'll cover up my boo-boo and purple then blue and green and yellow again so it's just being really mindful of what colors are hitting close to the other colors. And you're using the exact same colors you were before. It creates an interesting play. You have to be careful here because I'm really close to the blue and the next color is blue. So I have to kind of stretch out that purple. And as long as it doesn't land right on it, it's going to work. It's pretty close, but I'm stretching it all out now because it's really close to that green. All right. There you have gradations, same exact gradation technique but they're kind of complement each other because they're <clears throat> opposite colors of what went on the first time. And I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to actually put yellow in the background here. I just really like that color. So I'm gonna lay that down And then I'm going to go ahead and let that dry and I'll start detailing with the pens. For some reason that color just is standing out to me that it needs to go in the background. So. When you print yours out, you can try a different color. Or you can try the same color. It's all good. Sorry, I just add, started to decided to add orange to some areas. I really like to have value changes in the paint, color change, slight color changes. It gives it dimension, keeps it from being flat and boring.